Thank you, uh, Kian, for the opportunity to, to share my Live Again story. Uh, I'm Steve Rose. I'm an interventional radiologist specializing in oncology, particularly liver cancer. And I practice at the University of California, San Diego. Um, one of the things as a, as a backdrop is that all of us, all of us have a life sentence or, or a death penalty here. Um, and we just don't know when that's gonna come. However, when a patient gets the diagnosis of a cancer, particularly an advanced cancer that involves the liver, that timeline's much shorter. And what we do is rarely, rarely uh, affect a cure, but what we can do realistically is buy more quantity of life and preserve the quality of life. And what I've learned from my patients has been that the primary thing here has been the value of allowing them to rewrite that last chapter of their life. And I've seen some amazing things where people are able to cement not just the legal work and the financial work, but to build the relationships and have the chance of, of wrapping up things with their family and their friends. I've seen people go off back to the Philippines and be able to um, connect with family and, and wrap that up. And that time with the, with the liver treatment was what afforded them that couple months to be able to do that. And then come back and pick up where we're going. And I think one of the things that really illustrates this that was uh, very illuminating to me was a man who came from out in the farm country, uh, almost to the Arizona border. Um, and he had a very big cancer that rose in the liver called hepatocellular carcinoma. Um, and he came with his, uh, his um, brother-in-law who happened to be a family medicine doctor. And looking at his images and, and meeting with him, I was just very not certain I was gonna really do him good. And there was a concern that I might actually kill him. But I laid it out there, I said, okay, well you want to, tell me what you want to do. You know, we could be very aggressive and try to go for everything, or we could just back off and let nature take its course. And then he conferred with his brother-in-law and said, you know, I really want to be aggressive. And he did, we treated him, I think seven times with putting a catheter into the liver artery and putting in particles of chemotherapy. And every single day, he went out the next morning, felt great, had a very high quality of life, time after time. And he lived, I would have projected with no treatment, maybe he would have had two or three months. He went on another 15 to 16 months. And the thing that he did with that time is it gave him time to be with his daughter who was in high school to see her through graduation, to spend a time together as a daddy-daughter, and then to see her off to college. And she was the first person in her family, it was a Hispanic family, first person to ever go to college. And, you know, he was able to accomplish all of that, which was so important to him, uh, before finally the cancer uh, got out of control and he died. And he died very peaceful and, and uh, very uh, um, grateful for, for what he was able to do. And I think the lesson I've learned myself is that I don't know what I'm gonna, what's gonna happen to me when I get out of bed in the morning. I may get that same diagnosis myself. And so it's taught me to really value every day, every moment, really value the family because when it comes down to it, they're the person that's gonna be there to hold your hand. And it all comes down to that very important thing. So they've taught me some incredibly important lessons. Um, and I think that, I think it's very important for folks that are feeling, and again, the patients I'm seeing, it's like there's an alertness that comes, that, that they've come to, to value life and to value the moment that they have. And I think sharing their stories one to another, I think it'd be incredibly rejuvenating for themselves, but I think also very therapeutic for the people around them that, that share the same very intimate issue that they're dealing with. Thanks for allowing me to share.